I'm Cathy Reichs and we're at the Laboratoire de Science Judiciaire de Médecine Légale in Montreal. This is the main medical legal lab for the province of Quebec. This is the anthropology lab. This is where I work and this is, of course, where Tempe works. I think I've never been satisfied with doing just one thing. Initially, I was a university professor and a forensic scientist. Well, and a mother, we could throw that in as well. Um, so I was always moving between those two worlds, the world of the crime lab and the world of the university. Then I started writing fiction, and we have to throw in the literary world as well. And so now we've thrown in the world of television producing, which is, again, quite a contrast um, from any of the other three. So I really like the feedback between all of those menu in which I work, all of those different situations. And I think being a scientist helps me being a writer. Being a writer helps me being a scientist, and all of that helps me in advising on the TV show. This is a child skeleton which was found on the border of New Brunswick and Quebec in 1990, and still is unidentified. This was the basis for my most recent novel, Bones to Ashes. Bones to Ashes takes place partly in Montreal and partly in New Brunswick, way, way up on the Acadian Peninsula. The story begins in Tempe's childhood, which is a bit of a departure for me. You learn a bit about why she moved from the Midwest to the Carolinas, how she ended up up in Montreal. And as she's working on a case in Montreal, a little child skeleton is found, and that brings back many memories from her childhood and leads into the main storyline. One of the things people are interested in is, does it get easier or does it get harder as you're writing a continuing series? Or how does your process of writing differ from the first book to the 11th book, which is what I'm working on right now? In some ways, it gets easier. I have my cast of characters. I have my settings. What becomes more difficult is having to reintroduce those characters in each book because that book may be the first one that some readers are picking up, but it may be the tenth one that some readers have already read. So I've got to reintroduce my characters, but do it in a unique and creative and different way in each book, and that gets a little bit challenging.